Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Stamp On It, and this is just a little bit different video. Um, this is just kind of a fun video, just showing something that my sister Judy made me for my birthday. And I won't tell you what number birthday it was, but it was a little bit higher number up there. Um, so I'm just going to go through this and just show you. I thought it was a really cool idea and very thoughtful on her part. So she is a junk journal person, and she is also a thrift store junkie. Um, but also my mother, who has now been gone for, I believe, six years. Um, my mother was a collector of things as well as my grandmothers and so on. And some of the things in here are from her or them, or they remind me of my mother, which I thought was very cool and very thoughtful on my sister's part. We also used a lot of our, um, she did uh, stamp images in here, and um, I'm just going to go through and just kind of show you some cool ideas that she did. So I'm going to open this up. First of all, she used old fabric. My mother was a sewer by heart. Um, she used a lot of old fabrics. I can't say for sure if this is from my mother's collection, but still it reminds me so much of my mother. Uh, this is a really cool image on here. This is one from our images, either QKR, Alluring. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but it is on our site. I'm, I'm hoping that my sister, when she watches this video, she might be able to throw a little light on some of this, add some comments um, to just give us an idea of of the images. We have over 5,000 images on our Stamp On It site and they are Biblical, Alluring, QKR, and Eureka. So it's hard sometimes to really say which one they're from. But she uses a lot of Alluring, which is more of a junk journal's dream line. Also this I thought was very cool. This is masking tape and she stamped on the masking tape. Um, reminds me of my mother. My mother used masking tape for a lot of things. She was a Velcro, duct tape, masking tape, um, zip tie person. Um, so that's kind of cool. Lace. My mother saved and worked with a lot of lace. She made this book. My sister did from book pages originally. Uh, scrap paper and pattern paper. So through here you'll see some of those types of things as well. She also did some scanning of actual pieces of my mother's artwork or um, doilies that my mother made and so on. So in the first niche or pocket is a picture of my mother's family. All of her siblings and parents. My grandpa and grandma of course. And then we have this one here which is my other um, oh this is actually my grandpa and grandma slider. So that even goes the farmhouse on Van Buren Street goes even further back. And then she has a tag in here. My mom was a big gardener, so lots of butterflies, lots of birds in the book. It says, happy birthday, so thankful to have you in my life. Oh, can't see that, even through all the ups and downs. And this is a piece of paper from a um, journal that someone would keep track of their expenses and so on, which my mother did for my father's business. And again, a bird's nest picture. She made it into a file. And that's from scrap paper, um, background papers, pattern papers. And that pocket was made out of fabric. Then we have a, a scan of a doily, some background papers, tea staining, which just gives it that antique look. And then we have some more tea staining on a piece of, again, paper that my mother would have used when she was taking and keeping records for my dad's business years ago. She did the bookkeeping for for many years. And we have a stamp here from one of our stamp lines. And again, this page has actual entry work in it of accounting and keeping track of interest expenses and so on which I thought was very cool because that's what my mother did. And we have a book of gardening paper in here. And then she has another pocket where she made an envelope, took an old envelope, tea stained it, made it into a pocket. Has a morning dove on it, which is very neat. 
stamped on this piece of doily or of um, crocheting. And then we have some more pattern paper where I can enter notes if I want to in here. Things. Stamped images. And I won't show everything, but I just wanted to go through the book. Just show you how cool this is. And here again is another accounting page. The wages. And that's another thing that my mom did. Social Security withdrawals, Medi Medicare. And she did the checks for my dad's employees. Back then it was all by hand. There wasn't anything on the computer. Typewriter, that was a big thing. Here we have a profit this month of $822 off from these pages. I don't think these are actual pages from my mom, but very, very similar to what she would have done. More tea staining and antiquing through a doily here or a um, decorative piece. Very nice. Places I can make entry work in. I got to put the dates and stuff in here of when I got this book from her. And on the back page, she also put another pocket with a tag. Another one of our postal stamps from Alluring, I would say that is. Small stamp here. Background papers. I think these might be even... Um, Simplicity tells me it's patterns for sewing. My mother was a big sewer and did a lot of pattern patterns in her lifetime and cutting the fabric into a certain shape before she cut it or sewed it. She also did a lot of zigzagging, which my sister, I notice, is very big on too. My sister got a lot of my, my mother's Susie Homemaker skills, which I did not get. I think I was in the wrong line or standing around the corner or just too late. I was the fourth child of four. So um, I'm the only one that has brown eyes in the family and the only one that's left-handed. So what happened there? We're not sure. <laughs> but anyway, on the back page, she again did some more zigzagging of different scraps of things and stamped images. And it says Scrap and Collage Art Made by, and she signed it, JW, May 20, 2020. And that is another one of our stamps. And I thought that was really cool. Scrap and Collage Art Made by. And I believe that's out of our alluring line. And again... Hopefully my sister will step in here and add some, some more interest when she um, sees this video go up. But that is my birthday book from my sister for my birthday in May of 2020. So I just thought I would share that with you. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.